this is uh, Carnival Games VR, which is a new game that just came out today. It's kind of like a uh, mini game collection set, obviously, at this little carnival. Um, you can see there's some strange folks about. I'll talk about them later. This is my little uh, Mr. Carnival over here. He won't shut up. He'll never shut up. Um, it's not enough to ruin the game, but he's uh, he's really fucking annoying. So, um, at first, I will say I had a lot of trouble with the tracking in this game. Uh, nothing was working right. In one particular one, I'll show you in a minute, the, uh, the rock climbing game over here. I just could not get anything going. And um, on top of that, when you start, you have to unlock everything. So you have about two games to play off the bat, even though you just dropped 20 bucks on this thing. There's 12 games in total, I think, but uh, you have to unlock most of those. And when your tracking is not working really well, that's a pain in the ass and it's a real slog. And uh, I almost gave up on it, but somebody on Reddit told me to give another shot and adjust my tracking and stuff. And uh, at this point, I think I've got it pretty much down. And it's, it's relatively enjoyable. The grinding I mentioned is not as bad once you actually have control of yourself, but it's still kind of annoying overall. Um, I kind of would have preferred if everything was just open to begin with, but uh, this is fine. I'm going to try out the climbing wall. This is probably the most interesting one because there's no other uh, thing in VR like this. So it's a rock climbing wall, and you got your hands, and you kind of got to grab and pull yourself across, which uh, is a pretty cool feeling. It's a little disorienting because at some point you start feeling like you really are climbing the wall and like your body should be reacting in some way. So one thing I'll say about this one is when you have to look straight up like that, sometimes maybe just because of the fit of the headset, um, it, it gets a little bit blurry or out of focus. Um, so, Alright, so this is kind of a speed thing too. I should be going faster. Alright, so you basically uh, you just grab on things here. The blue ones are fine. The red ones uh, crumble over time. They throw in a couple of these here, where you gotta just move fast. At first I was trying to figure it out like it's a puzzle, but it's just like, Paul ass, essentially. Um, this is probably, like I said, the most interesting game out of the bunch. And this one, I believe, gets unlocked pretty quick towards the beginning of the game. So uh, it's one of the first ones you get. And uh, definitely worth checking out. It's a, it's a pretty cool feeling. Just climbing Don't around like this. I'm sure I'm gonna get like a, a one-star rating or something because I'm not moving that fast, but... Oh god, oh god, so, <laughs> oh shit. The feeling of falling is pretty uh, real too. When you when you miss a grab or something. You're, it's almost like wind wounds. Where you just feel like you're... Oh, ah! feel like you're really taking a fall. And of course all this is counting against my overall time. Oh, whoa. Gotta get closer to this one. There we go. There is a little bit of jitter, I will say, in this in this game overall. Oh no, the red ones break. Okay, well I think you get the idea about this one. It's pretty fun. Um, I'm going to exit and show you a different one. Um, so you can see they've got ring toss, what I started on, uh, pop darts, which is uh, throwing darts at some balloons. The dart throwing is not that great, I'll say for sure, in uh, sports bar VR they got it much better. Um, so these are the little areas, they each have a few games. Where to? Swish is a uh, basketball game that's kind of fun. Down the stretch is sort of a modified ski ball. Fast pitch, uh... oh this one's fun, I'll do this one. So fast pitch, you have a catcher's mitt, and they throw all these crazy, uh, crazy pitches at you. I don't know how catchers, honestly, I never watch baseball, so I don't know if they use their left hand or their right hand, but I'm going to use my left hand, because I did better last time I used my left hand. They'll throw you some crazy ones here. Pop, oh, got it. Yeah, did get that one. The snake, the snake is wild. There we go. Pokey Joe, ah, Jesus. Not another Hokey Joe two in a row. Shit! Ah, oh, this that feel like it hit me. Nah, see, I'm just I'm just doing terrible on this one. It's pretty fun though. This is one of my one of my more uh, favorite ones. And so at the end of each one, you get these uh, tickets, which for the beginning of the game you use to. I'll show you over here. You got your little uh, prize gallery should pop up. And um, as you go through, there's all these optional things that you can play with in this area called the playroom. 
Uh, I'll just buy one to show you that. So you drop it in the little bucket, and it's purchased. And so I already bought this dinosaur, which gave me Swish. The things in the middle always unlock different stages. So, um, Where would you like to go? where's that playroom? There it is. So as you buy things, uh, I don't know what this is going to end up being because I've only bought one or two things, but got this little cow guy, kind of tossed me around. There's this. Now where is the guy I just bought, though? Hmm. Curious. Well, you point at these things and you can kind of teleport around the stage. And uh, as best as I can tell, it's just a, a place to grab things and throw them around and see what happens um, for some kind of entertainment purpose. So that's the playroom area. Not not that exciting, uh, really. But I, this game, I think, is definitely geared towards kids, I would say. Um, so depending on who you are, you might get more or less enjoyment. Hey, everybody waves at you in this game. It's kind of creepy. They all just look right at you. And all these kids are high as shit. Like, I don't know. Everyone looks weird. Everyone, Every adult man is a Where variation of Woody from Toy Story with different clothing on. Uh, or a different skin tone. And they all look creepy and dead-eyed. One of my least favorite things is the, the non-player characters in this game. They're just like, how long did, how much effort did they put into this? Look Where at these fuckers. Like so they just randomly generate like different outfits on them. Like, look at this girl, she's got a mustache. This guy's wearing a mask. Nobody cares what they're wearing. It's like, I don't know. So uh, Cowpoke, this is where you start. This game's kind of fun. It's the, uh, you toss a baseball at a milk jug. It seems like it's giving me the tutorials every time. Now, one thing about this game is I can't really tell if it's better to use real motion, like, really chuck the thing at it, like you'd expect to, or just do how they show you in the tutorial and just, like, fast forward. So that's not really how I play a game like this, but that seems like what they want you to do is just kind of chuck it like that forward. Oh. Oh my goodness. Now that I have an audience. Alright. So some of these games, I will say, go on a little longer than I want them to at a certain point. I'm like, alright, I'm ready to play something else. But that's only if you're doing well at it. Actually, I take that back. Case in point, one of my favorite games, despite the fact that I hate that it's uh, timed and even if you're doing terrible, you have to play the whole thing. Uh, where's this Where one? Would you like to Flapjack. Go? Ah, Funnel Cake Stacker, that's it. This one is pretty fun. Basically, they throw a bunch of funnel cakes at you, and you have to hold these two little trays and stack them up. Uh, I think I've learned how to cheat by just putting them together like this. You can stack quite a few, but as you can see, no matter how well you do, they launch 45 of them at you. There's like a number up there in the corner. And after a while, sometimes you're like, alright, I'm tired of holding this. But, um, you know, even though some of these games are fun, I couldn't see coming back to them so many times. It's more like something you'd show to people for a few minutes, um, you know, pass around with friends, or if you've got, like, younger people in your family or kids or whatever, just, like, this would be a fun little thing for them to have. But I don't know how much overall value I would have. I think uh, the fact that it's completely single-player... Oh, I'm doing terrible with this. Oh my god. I do. It's kind of hectic and fun though. I, I like the. when they're just flying in your face. Um, what was I saying? Oh, Sports Bar VR I think has more longevity as far as these kind of mini game type ones go. Because at least you can play online with people in that one. Uh, and in this one you're just always by yourself unless you have people in the room with you. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh let's see if this works. No, I've done much better than that. My favorite thing about that one is at the end, just tossing the plates. Oh, and you can grab these things. Ooh, that's pretty fun. I get something for you, buddy. I wish this guy would shut up sometimes, by the way. Can I get him? I'm gonna get you, Mr. Carnival! I'm like, odd job in with the dinner plate here. Ah, never mind. Alright, I give up. He's indestructible. What would you like to play? So, yeah, you know, there's some, some fun ones. I guess Where I'll just show you what there is. Uh, I've already been here. Basketball, fast pitch, we played that. That is a modified ski ball, like I said. I'm just freaking out. So, uh, in Wizard's Walkway, uh, we've been here as well. Look at this little kid. Everybody, it's just staring at me and waving. It's so creepy. I really wish they had changed that. 
you like to play? Um, this is real skee ball, and honestly, compared to I was just comparing this to Sports Bar VR, but this is less ball. good than the skee ball in Sports Bar VR. Um, it doesn't really feel well. It's actually a little better this time than the last time I played it, but just I really like the way it plays in Sports Bar VR, and it looks more like a real skee ball. And also, someone can just come up to you and, and throw a chair in the middle of your lane while you're playing, which is just delightful. In this, I'm just by myself. Nobody's gonna mess with me. There's this creepy guy next to me. Oh my god, what is he doing with his feet? He's not even. Oh. Wow. He's really bad. Did you see that? I wonder if he's just gonna keep making that same really bad. No, he's like randomly making terrible rolls. And it just rolls between his feet and he doesn't care. Wow. Yeah, no, the NPCs in this game are just garbage. Absolute garbage. Look at this lady with <laughs> with a pacifier just staring at me. Oh my god. And he's just watching everything. Oh, and Mr. Little Samurai. Mrs. Little Samurai, I'm sorry. And, and the wolf. Alright. Oh my god, something new. Okay, so, like I said, this game's alright. Um, you know, some of the games are pretty fun. This is good, man. I gotta go out here. Uh, Overall, you know, is it worth your 20 bucks? Like I said, if you have kids, if you are a kid, um, hopefully you're not watching this if you're a kid because I've been cursing a lot and stuff, but, uh, you know, stuff like that, uh, maybe worth checking out and to show people for a little bit of fun, but I don't think I'll come back to it too much. So, you know, decide what you will. Uh, and I think that's it. Goodbye, Mr. Carnival. Goodbye, everyone. Oh, hello. God. God, they just, oh wow. Some of the fashion choices. What would you like to play? Anyways, alright, that's the end of my review. Uh, signing off.